the 2018 Kia Stinger GT is the real deal. In auto audits, relating how much better the Korean automakers are than they were in decades past has progressed toward becoming agonizingly antique. It doesn't should be said that. Hyundai and Kia make world-class autos nowadays and have for quite a while, aside from in one territory, execution. This is the thing that the 2018 Kia Stinger GT plans to change. The Stinger is a game vehicle, from Kia, benchmarked against and pointed straightforwardly at the Germans for a ton less expensive. From Kia. The possibility of an execution engaged, raise wheel drive vehicle with a 365 pull twin turbo V6 motor, Brembo brakes and a versatile suspension that completes 0 to 60 mile per hour in 4.4 seconds, an auto that can be had at the portion of the cost of a BMW 340i, all while wearing a key identification, is venturesome. Self-important, even. So what on the off chance that it makes good compacts and minivans, how set out Kia figure it can do this? A cynic may ponder. And justifiably so. This is a brand that once rivaled Gio and Daihatsu, and now it needs to go up against BMW? In any case, the Stinger GT pulls it off, and notwithstanding a couple of minor blemishes, it figures out how to be both a conspicuous execution auto deal and one of the considerable auto astonishments of this decade. The well-known axiom goes on the off chance that you can't beat them, go along with them, however for this situation Kia completed one better, on the off chance that you can't beat them, enlist them. The plan originates from Audi and Lamborghini veteran Peter Schreier, whom Kia contracted about 10 years prior. The stuff that checks originates from Albert Biermann, the previous VP of designing at BMW M, poached away to supervise execution auto advancement for the whole Hyundai Motor Group. At the end of the day, the Stinger's family is genuine. It was made by individuals who realize what they're doing. To be specific, Germans. To make matters considerably all the more intriguing, it's in fact a five entryway hatchback, not a four entryway. Car, consider it an Audi A5 Sportback however for individuals who have never hollered at their server in the metery. Schreier and his group nailed the plan. It has a forceful nearness with wide bumpers and a good-looking, smooth general shape. Those brake vents at the front and sides? They're practical. Too bad, the not exactly NACA channels on the hood are phony, size-wise, it's somewhat longer than a 3 Series, and with a more drawn-out wheelbase, however. Additionally more extensive and a touch heavier at 3,829 pounds to a back drive 340i's 3,700 pounds. In the week I had this high chroma red GT2, the most stacked GT trim level, it drew a part of gazes, both from auto individuals who comprehended what it was and were eager to see it out openly, and from passers-by baffled at its identification. That is a Kia? Was a normal response. It would seem that an Optima that went out and got some Zegna suits, began mainlining protein shakes, and learned Jeet Kune Do. The Stinger is based on a stage developed and abbreviated from the one on the Genesis G80, once the Hyundai Genesis car, that likewise supports the up-and-coming beginning G70. It can be had with two motors, a 2.0-liter turbo 4 with 255 horsepower, or the GT, with a 365 horsepower twin-turbo V6. I haven't driven the four-barrel form yet, and now I'm interested to do as such, however I'd say for the cash that you should go for the V6. Both can be had in either back or all-wheel drive. The least expensive 4-banger Stinger begins at $31,900. The Turbo V6 GT begins at $38,350. A respectable sum for a Kia, however when you consider all you ride, and that both are in scope of the normal new auto cost, it's not terrible. My analyzer, a GT2 with each and every container checked, came in at $50,100. That is as a matter of fact enlightening, yet in addition, Redundant, as I'll clarify. Why it matters. With the Koreans, with regards to execution, and furthermore extravagance to some degree, it's dependably been a session of nearly, however not exactly. The Genesis Coupe. First. Rate, yet it missed the mark in taking care of and refinement. The Genesis. Positively an awesome esteem, yet never the best in any classification it's assessed in. The Velocer. Great, however not a solidified Volkswagen GTI or Mini Cooper S contender. Perhaps that could change soon, see, dissimilar to most other fruitful auto-delivering countries, South Korea doesn't have anything like a long history of games auto-driving society, or even auto-hustling so far as that is concerned. Making an awesome execution auto is the last and most subtle wilderness its automakers need to win. This is the thing that the Stinger expects to do, make a genuine, raised drive, or all-wheel drive, don vehicle that conveys 
on speed and taking care of at a fire deal cost. Additionally, it is important on the grounds that it's another moderate-ish execution auto, and we should take every one of the ones we can get an hour. Current SUV takeover. On the road. I'll get straight to the point here, the Stinger GT is quick, a magnificent handler, and the majority of all, simply damn great fun. The first occasion when I tossed it hard into a general corner. The acknowledgement hit me that he is constructed a vehicle that handles in any event and additionally a 340-hour Cadillac ATS, the two autos I consider the athletic leading figures in. This fragment. The guiding feel is robust and tight and strong, far superior than I expected, and the auto itself feels coordinated and staggeringly controlled. The Stinger. Will effectively get the backside out on charge while offering enough input that you can rapidly snap it back in line when you require. It flies its RWD crack banner. Hi, and gladly. There's more body move now and again amid hard cornering than I expected, yet never enough that it ascends to the level of a protestation, it's as well. Made and dialed in for that. Furthermore, the best part is that it feels littler and less overwhelming than it truly is. On the off chance that you have to pause for a minute to wonder about the way that we're saying these things in regards to a Kia, proceed. I can pause. The engine's another joy here. The Lambda 2 T is the most recent and now turbocharged variation of a long-running Hyundai and Kia motor, and it's never been more noteworthy. Significantly more delightfully than the pull is that torque is evaluated at a much higher 376 pounds to foot at only 1,300 RPM. Depend on it that the stingers. Quick, squash the gas and it rockets forward with a prompt and astonishing dearness. It will make them search for reasons to pass another auto at speed, or to Act up a bit when the light becomes environmentally viable and nobody's up in front of you. This is a torquey and straight engine, comparable to any twin turbo 6 anybody makes at this moment, and it fills the lodge with a delightful profound V6 baritone when it moves. It feels like an Audi twin turbo V6, though a bit less refined. We identified an odd wavering comfortable start of throttle application, however other than that it's very great. The sole transmission alternative for the whole Stinger Go is an 8-speed program with paddle shifters. Truly, I wish it had a manual. Try not to try and inquire. As it seems to be, the programmed is a fair gearbox that gets focuses for being by and large smooth and responsive in full programmed mode. Be that as it may, it loses focuses for one major reason, there's no completely manual mode that can be locked in with the apparatus selector. In the event that you need to change gears yourself, you hit the oars, yet the auto defaults. Back to full programmed enormous D drive each time you grind to a halt. Weak. Other than that it's for the most part fine, however this Hyundai Kia unit it does not have the speed of manual. Moving you find in a ZF Auto, to state nothing of a double grip gearbox. Likewise, I specified a V6 motor note a minute back, and it's awesome, yet the fumes leaves a hard to be wanted. It's scarcely recognizable at all when you give it a decent rev. I'm trusting somebody completes a decent post retail cat back debilitate for this thing, it needs it. The ride quality's certainly on the more cruel side particularly looked at that 2018 Honda Accord I drove precisely seven days earlier, an auto that is a decent gauge for. Indeed, fundamentally everything. Be that as it may, I got accustomed to it, even finished New York's dreadful pitted lanes. I found that exchanging the Stinger's drive mode to custom and setting the gearbox, motor and directing to sport yet the ride to comfort was the ideal blend for decency and scarcely lawful shenanigans, precisely what I need in my game vehicle. It makes for a consummately fine day by day thus. The Stinger's an aggregate bundle auto. The capable engine and ultra-equipped skeleton combine well with each other, offering an adjust that is frequently subtle nowadays. It's sufficiently quick to be regarded, sufficiently solid at cornering that it can hang with a portion of the best, and routinely promising its driver to push the points of confinement. Essentially, an Audi with BMW dealing with, at a small amount of the cost of either. That is the means by which the Stinger drives. The entryways thumped close with a substantial, strong feel, the way German autos used to however don't any longer. The cowhide rack level base controlling wheel influences you to feel lighter and for something exceptional. The seats are delightful, offering a close ideal mix of day-by-day -day comfort and electronically movable supporting. It's surely no modest no box inside. There's even attentive touches like the Audi-esque turbine fan air vents or how the computerized speedometer changes to italics. At the point when placed it in sport mode, italics mean speed, you see, other than that, it feels quality. No rattles, no squeaks, no undeniable discharge failures. I'd say the entire setup is striving for an advanced Audi vibe as reasonably conceivable. 
There's a touch of squandered space over the dashboard, yet the caches and switches are largely simple to figure out. Kia's touchscreen infotainment framework never demonstrated an issue either, with basic address passage, however regarding designs it feels somewhat dated contrasted with a few contenders. The root wants in a while settled on some sketchy choices for me also, 